show. <laughs> if you can believe that, that was my first attempt in this session. So, <laughs> well, what is up, everybody? I am Shazel Games, and I'm here once again with another episode of Bastion. In the last episode, we came we came here for a little bit just to show off what you can do, and I decided to come back on my own. So as I was saying, I came back here to try it out again, and I managed to get it right on my first try. <laughs> So good luck to me, I guess. So I'm out. Let's head to the next level. Nothing's changed in the Bastion. I haven't done anything else besides that. So get yourselves ready, because we're going. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the Breaker's Challenge. Oh, but I did. But I did. Oh, he set up a tent. That's cute. All right, so let's go somewhere else and fall off and die like an idiot. Get up, kid. Thank you. So let's go to this area. The Sundown Path. The core detected should be along this precarious walkway. Be careful up there. Couples used to walk the Sundown Path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. True, um, a girl we fancied died, remember? <laughs> she was killed by the Calamity. So, just break some stuff. Let's roll. But then... But then what? But then what, game? Somebody gets to the core before the kid. Ooh, land's falling. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt can bring the whole place down. Alright, so we just gotta run. Alright, so we're taking out these gas fellas. Wow, our machete is pretty strong now. See? I don't know, I suddenly got better when I was playing. I literally can't progress now, because the tile fell away. I have to go this way, I guess. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security is all fired up. The kid thinks twice about risking his eye for him. I think I just trapped myself. All right. Game, where are you gonna put me? All right. Alright, so now we have to move. What does the game want me to do? Stupid fucking... The fire tiles are what's getting me right now. Alright, let's go. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. You know, I probably shouldn't be stopping to shoot things, but... I can't help it. Yeah, I just, I, I just suddenly got better at the game. I don't know why. Oop, game just lagged. Thank you, game. Skybridge. Uh, there's something over here. Finds a spyglass. Like the ones they'd use to search the stars. Alright, so that's a memento we got. Let's take the moment to read it. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. A memento. A portable teles telescopic lens used for stargazing. The Suntown Bath once held breathtaking views of the stars, the mountains, and the sea. Now only the stars remain. We also found something for a weapon. An upgrade material for a certain weapon. A clockwork organizer once used for work and recreation. These springs and sprockets could be put to better use. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that can use that. So, oh, I just fucked myself. There we go. I thought I saw... Oh yeah, there, there is a fucking trash bag, scumbag mar monster around because he's shooting poison darts at me, so... Not darts, like well, fl sludge bombs. In the old days, we can do it again. Who Oops. Could have taken the core? So we're not the only ones who survived the calamity. As the game is telling us right now, because someone else got the core. Ain't no survivor stole the thing. It had to be a survivor. Who else could it be? I just really hate fighting these guys. Is that the real... Did he actually eat it? Okay, so I guess the scumbag ate that core. Alright, path, you gonna form? Alright, cool. Alright, cool. 
Hand grenade. Find time to find them. Use right trigger to throw grenades. Ooh. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Wow. That does a lot of damage. Gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky with Gotta take out the boxes before they come out, you know? Cause they're really annoying. And hey, if you can kill them fast, you might as well, you right? That's the way out. Alright, I don't wanna leave. Leaving is not my prerogative right now. Game lagged again. Alright, sky bridge. Thank you. Something burnt. An upgrade material for a certain weapon. Weapon. A slab of burst stone blown topside during the calamity. Forged in flame already. It is highly resistant to heat. And I have no idea what weapon that could possibly be for. Because this game does have a bunch of weapons, but it's not entirely obvious. You don't get them all right away, so it's not entirely obvious. Slow. Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. It's alright. I can live without a core, I guess. Here, stranger, I have some new mementos. What do you gotta say? So as I was saying, the game doesn't throw the weapons at you right away, so it's like a staggered release. Ask about the bronze spyglass, taken from the sundown path. Only the stars remain on the horizon. The mountains are gone. We're no closer to the stars now, are we? see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. Well, yeah, because the stars are millions of miles away. See, weapons that we can't access yet, and the rest the rest of these slots are also for weapons, so... Let me take another moment to change my thing back to Dancing Shot. We also got something new. I think we got... Yeah, we got another ability, and this ability is pretty bomb. I'll show it off in the next level. It's called Breaker's Volley. The Hanging Gardens. Beyond that, no telling what awaits. A veil hangs over this place. The dead welcome him with open arms. Oh, we just killed those dead people. The calamity took everybody after all. It's unfortunate. Kids sees a plane, frozen faces all around. See, so when I was playing this game, I wasn't entirely sure if um the frozen people were had a chance to come back to life, but as far as I can tell, they don't. Sadly. Random barge here. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone away like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Oh, there's someone else. Ooh. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. Alright, so the fire turrets you don't want to be right up on. Like you probably want to snipe them. Taking a moment to try and well. The game wants me to kill all the turrets, so I was taking my time with them a little bit. Thunder Brothers didn't make it. The game's just gonna recount all the people who died here. Cause that's just how this goes, you know. What it was like beyond the walls. Nordy the bird boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Senior. Brady Jr. They didn't make it, but him, he survived. Take a moment to use a health potion there. Also, there's something here. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. The Yura signal, a memento. Sigil, I'm sorry. An insignia borne by the people of the Ura heritage. The Tazel Spade was a rare sight in Ceylandia before the Calamity, as very few Ura lived in the city. Now there are fewer still. This game has such wonderful music. It's so it's so good. It it knows how to fit how to make a mood with just music. Um, did I miss something by going this way? 
Let me roll back real fast. No, I didn't. It was going to make me go this way anyway. All right, cool. So we're rolling. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survived as well. Here, this is a good chance to use my ability. It literally just fires a whole bunch of arrows in rapid succession. They do a lot of damage. That's all it is. It's really good, though. And then, what do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. The survivor agreed to return to the Bastion. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. What a weird thing to say, being introduced for the first time. Like they made him, they took a time, they took the time to point that out, you know? So let's see what Zulf has to say. And we can also discuss the things we have in our inventory. So let's start with the Yura Sage Sigil. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Yura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Just some backstory for Zulf. Um, offers Zulf the spyglass found on the Sundown Path. Maybe this can help you take your mind off things. You could help us find new Skyway paths. Zolf offers to help me plot the Skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. What about the beret? You didn't happen to see a girl who wore this in her hair, did you? We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Well, what was it like living in the city? Didn't you get homesick? For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. Alright, that's all we can talk about with Zolf for right now. So what is Rux? Oh, he has a name now. The stranger's name is Rux. Alright. Were there many Ura living in the city before the Calamity? Can they be trusted here? We fought the Ura decades ago. But that was then. Things are different between us now. And that's all we have to talk about with, this, with Rux, so... Uh, let's put that core in the monument and see what we get. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. So we have new uh, buildings available to us. The Lost and Found. The Calamity tore the old world to pieces, yet even the smallest fragments can be, stored, can be restored in the Bastion. All right, and the Memorial. A necessary testament to the Calamity. By paying tribute to the past, one may better prepare for the future. I'm gonna go for the Lost and Found. New items in stock. Lost and the kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. So basically what this does is it's like a shop, kind of. Well, we can buy new um, po uh, post spirits. We can buy upgrades for our weapons. There's also this, the Graver Slash, which is another art right trigger skill. So I'm going to take the moment to buy a bowstring. All it takes is some fragments and the Bastion makes it good as new. All right, so the currency is called Fragments it's for everyone out there. I'm gonna go with the stab synth. Rather, I'm just gonna buy it. And I'm, I think I have enough money left over for something else. Um, I think I'm gonna buy the thing, the upgrade for my war machete. So, but I haven't been using it much, as you saw. I've, I've been basically bow, and that's it. Oh, we don't have enough to upgrade. Lame. And we don't have enough to upgrade this either. All right, so we'll come back to that. So let's do another level. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. Let's do the pith or orchard. It should be nestled in the shrine to the god of the commotion and order. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. I remember really not liking this level my first playthrough. Also, the game doesn't like it because it's lagging a little bit. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. So what's this way? Pilgrimage here to pay the respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now. And the Orchard Core is long gone, too. 
kid gives that old bull what's coming to him. Oh. I'm glad the game has something to say about me slashing the bull. I mean, I didn't want to imply that I didn't like the bull. I was just seeing if I could kill it. Because <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's gonna catch you if you fall. Because it looks like something that guy could probably break. Something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. True. Like, the gods just sort of abandoned us here, I guess. We got another upgrade for a weapon. Let's go this way. The path. That's really cool right here. The path, like, this right here going down. That's really cool to look at. I really like that. Piff makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I remember why I didn't like this level. Piff lights up like a rodeo. Get out of here. Easy punching through his hide. Stop that. It breaks him to bits. Whew. Must have been guarding that shrine. Scary. All right. In the shrine, I guess. Be, invoke the gods or tell them off. So basically, what this does now is we have monuments to, uh... We can make the game harder artificially to get more rewards. So I have this one on now, which is foes shall grow quicker to move and strike, and it'll give me a boost in fragments I get and ex experience I earn. So there are a whole bunch of other ones that we don't have unlocked yet, but they'll they'll unlock in time. But we can leave Pith on for right now and see how we do. Kid decides to press his button. Ooh, Pith, Pith, why? Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Why are the gods mad? Do you think the gods would make things easier? I've never seen one bag that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him. These things shoot much faster now. These squirts are riled up. All right, taking my time shooting these squirts here. By then, I'm just gonna, oh no, never mind, it popped already. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna run up and shoot the, uh, the squirt thing. Stab it to death, if you will. I believe he says something different if you don't invoke the gods. Like, um, I don't know. They have different dialogue options for different things you do. The game really wants me to use my shields. Alright, so what you want to do with Pith, basically, is just use your shield and until he breaks down for a little bit. And then, after he starts recharging himself, you want to attack him again. Like that. Ooh, what's this? The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Ooh, we got more health for picking that up. Um, we're heading back the way we came, I guess. There's no other way to really go. Kid ain't found the core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. So Zolf was praising Pith, I suppose, worshiping, if you will. I get my words mixed up sometimes. It's very not good. <laughs> now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. All right, Zulf, what do you have to say about the plush pit, the plush pith? Would you like to hang on to this? The era of people worship the same gods as us, after all. Zulf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. So that, that, uh, decorated our bastion a little bit more. And let's see what the stranger has to say. Rux, I can't, I have to start calling him by his name. The gods didn't bother to stop the calamity, did they? The era feared the gods. We turned them into toys put their faces on our walls that's fair enough um i see we built zulf a tent we don't have a core unfortunately so we can't build something new but in the next episode we, we may or may not find a core in the other new area available to us so that's probably what we're gonna do next episode i would like to thank you guys for watching i have been shazel games and this has been another episode of bastion don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shit. And don't forget to check out my social media, baby. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.